So this month we have been focusing on hips. So I don't know about you, but when I first wake up in the morning and I start to walk down the stairs to go get my tea, I realize how tight my hips are. So this is a perfect opportunity to do this practice first thing in the morning as well or after your shift, okay, just to kind of loosen up those hips. So if you haven't yet, you can meet me on the mats. You can do this on the floor. You don't need a yoga mat, but we will be on the floor. So just make sure that you're around a clean space. We're going to start in all four, so tabletop position. So when you're in tabletop position, you want to have your hands flat onto the mat, nice and strong fingers. Your wrists are over your shoulders, or your wrists are under your shoulders, excuse me, and your knees are under your hips. And you really want to tuck that belly in and find that nice long spine just for a moment. Take a breath here as you arrive onto the mat. Another breath in. All right, we've arrived. So you're gonna bring your knees out to the width of the mat. And I want you just to start to do some hip circles. So bring your buns back towards the heels, around and heart back towards the hands. And just start to do this as slow as you possibly can. It's opening up those hips, starting to get those joints moving. Good, and the next time your heart's around your hands, just switch that direction. And just keep breathing with it, concentrating on the breath. Good, awesome. So sometimes this pose alone is just beautiful to do. If you only have, you know, a minute or two minutes, just do this pose to open your hips. Now bring your knees back underneath your hips as we move on to our second pose, which is lunge. Now you can see I have blocks on the top edge of my mat. I usually use blocks a lot of the times in lunges just because of my tight hips personally, so I'll be using them today. And what you're going to do first is step your right foot forward into that lunge position. Now you can come on tented fingertips if you wish or grab your blocks. Remember there's three different heights, boom and pick that height for you so you can really ease into this pose. So you don't wanna be able to hold your jaw tight, you wanna be able to breathe. And sometimes if I'm here and my hips are really tight, I can't really sink into the pose. So you want your foot flat on the mat and you wanna press that front foot into the mat. The knee is over the ankle and then you wanna come down a little bit more into that left hip flexor. Good. Now lift your heart out. Now this is the time that we can use the blocks because if you're here and you can't really lift, your shoulders are coming forward. We really want to use the props to help us go into the pose. So I even go up a step further and then that way my heart is forward and my shoulders are back. And now tuck the tailbone or press, pull the tailbone down. Good, and you'll feel that more into that left hip. And breathe here, three breaths. Releasing any tension on the exhale. Great job. Now bring your hip back so that left hip is over the left knee and step that right foot back. And you can just give yourself a wiggle here, release the blocks, come back down to all fours. And let's do the other side. Step the left foot forward. So again, foot into the mat, pressing down, knee over ankle, and finding that position that works well for you. And you can shimmy and shake when you first get into it. So I usually rock a little bit forward and back. It's completely up to you. And then bring those blocks where you need it. Hearts up, shoulder blades are back and down. Shoulders away from the ears. And then when you're ready, take your three deep breaths in and out. Beautiful, come down. Step that left foot back. 
In your back and all fours, give yourself a sh shimmy and a shake. Good job. Next pose is lizard. So we are going to step our right foot forward this time, just like lunge. And I really love using blocks for lizard. So if you don't have blocks, you can use blankets, stacked pillows, anything to help you. So you're going to shimmy your right foot over to the edge of the mat. So you open up that hip and the toes can be pointing up towards the corner of the mat. Now bring your hands on the inside and I want you to lean forward just a bit and that right knee is going to splay out to the side. You're going to feel opening all up the leg and into the groin area. Now you can stay just like this if you want, but again, remember if we're folded over, we really want to come forward, that heart always shining forward. So blocks are beautiful for that as well. And you can come down onto your forearms to rest here. Three breaths. You really want your weight on the outside of that foot. All right, bring your hip back. Step your right foot back, step your left foot forward. Same thing on the other side. Scooch that left foot to the outer edge of the mat, toes pointing up toward the corner, and put your weight into more of the outside, so the pinky toe side of the foot. Find that nice lunge in there. Left knee moves out, and you bring your hands down to the blocks or to the mat. Breathe. Good. Coming back. And let's just take a few hip circles here. So it's always good to check in to see how your hips are feeling. Midway through your poses. Always want to feel how the yoga practice is working for you. Sometimes that's what convinces us to get back onto the mat. So the next pose is pigeon. So there's two options for pigeon. You can lay onto your back. I'll show you that one. Again, you lay onto your back and take a figure four. So your legs are long, bend that right knee in, bend the left knee, place the right ankle onto the left thigh, and you can stay right here as you move your heel closer to your butt, or you can bring your hands through and pick that knee up. Your hands are on the back of your hamstrings. You're going to pull that knee in. Flex the feet. All right, so this might be perfect for you today. Or if you want to take a more traditional pigeon. Again, blocks are great for this. From all fours, move your right knee up towards your right wrist. And then try to get that shin as parallel to the front edge of the mat. And scooch that left leg long behind you. Now you can always plug a block or a blanket into the hip so your hips are pointing or shooting out laser beams towards the top edge of the mat. All right and then you can kind of sink down in and I always like to kind of shimmy and shake in my pigeon just to see how low I can get, how flexy I am. So you can stay elevated here or come down. So find the right pigeon for you to your practice today. Every day will be completely different and every side will be completely different. And flex your right foot here. And let's take three breaths together. Coming on up, scoot yourself back to all fours. If you're on your back, you're just going to switch the leg. Same thing on this side. Left knee goes towards the left wrist. Try to get that shin as parallel to the front edge of the mat 
I don't think I'll ever see my shin exactly parallel to the front edge of the mat. Yeah, and then once you have your pigeon position, flex your left foot. Take a nice deep breath in and stay elevated if you wish. Remember just the heart's going forward and the shoulders are moving back and down or come down. And let's take three collective breaths. Good, starting to move your way back up. And come around to your bum. So if you're on your backs, just stay where you are. We'll meet you there. You're gonna come down onto your back and bring your feet out really nice and wide. So the width of the mat and let your knees fall into touch. So knock knees. Good, and then take your right hand, place it on your belly and your left hand onto your heart. Close your eyes. And just take a moment to connect with yourself. Notice any stream of energy moving through your body, any changes in the tightness in your hips, in your legs, and your feet. And notice any changes in your spirit, in your mood, in your emotions. Three more deep breaths in and out. Knowing that you can come back to this any time that you're feeling tension in the lower body. This practice is waiting for you. On the next exhale, just coming over onto your side and sitting on up. Coming back to cross-legged position if you'd like, whatever feels good. Bring your hands to heart center and bow to yourself for showing up on the mat for this hot, hot mess express yoga practice to release hip tension and tightness. I hope this served you well today and may love and health go with you wherever you go. Thank you for all that you do. Namaste in nursing.